Right, what have we got here? Just a small one, but a beautiful one. Boosh. This is the PB Swiss Tools PB6464. Um, I'll cover the previous version. There was a previous version which looks exactly like this, and there's another one that looks kind of like this, but it has a a sort of a, a bit magazine that comes out at the bottom. That's a different version, and the older version I think was the 6460. It's similar to this, but the mechanism for storing the bits works differently. It was a screw system, which was a bit less tactile, and it works absolutely fine, but I think this one's better. So we'll have a nice close look at this in 4K. So like I say, this is the PB6464. I just happen to have it in black. It tells you there, 6464 in black, Swiss made, made in Switzerland, and it has the serial number on there. So if I show you that there, if I get to focus, there you go. So each of these tools is serial number. So you could actually go to the website and check and say, when did Trail Trek get this? And because I have had this quite a while um, and it's been absolutely fantastic. I've just, with one thing and another, I've never had time to review it. Okay, so um, this is black, but it is also available in, uh, off the top of my head, red, green, blue, purple and yellow i got the black uh, be simply because it was the cheapest it was as simple as that i don't care on the colors it was slightly cheaper at the time and i was able to get this at you know a mega mega markdown price but i did get this myself this is part of the insider range and if i have one knocking about i think i have one over there let me have a look this is also an insider this is the little stubby so insider just means it has stuff inside so even though these look similar there's nothing inside of this one, you know, that's empty well of, of items. And inside, I means this has bits inside. And the same can be said of this one, 6464. So I'll show you how to do that. So to open it, there are some rough knurled up bits. So you just grip them and pull like that, beautiful. And there's your carousel. So let's get a nice close look at that. So the bits that this comes with are genuine PB Swiss ones. So they are beautiful and they are color coded. So if you notice, the slotted have this sort of brown sort of rust kind of color, I call it. And then you have the torques, which are like a nice sort of blue, blue sort of steel. And then you have the yellow Phillips there or gold, however you want to say it. Now, in regards to the bits, beautiful. Let's get a nice close up. So these, these are the small ones with the little detents in, although that's not an issue in here. There is no detent, it's a magnet only. So let's get a nice close look of this. You know what I like in 4K, let's get a nice close look. I have used this extensively, especially this head and look nowhere, very, very little burring on the, on the points there, which you will get over use. None of these bits last forever. I don't care which company you get them from, even PB Swiss tools, they will not last forever. But in this regards, these do. The one thing that I will mark them down for, and I've said this on many different ones, I wish they would stamp this rather than print. So they've put on there PH2, which just stands for Phillips size two, PB Swiss. I mean, I've used this and used this and used this, and you can see there's little wear marks there. That hasn't come off. So I can't slag them off saying this comes off too easily. I don't know if it will, but I would prefer to have seen a, a, a recess there because then that's never going to come off. Not that it's an issue. You can just size it up and go, well, does that fit? Yes, it fits, right? That's the right one. So again, another close look at the tip there. Sort of flattened off on the tip there. Can you see that? But beautiful. I've had no issues with these. So that's the Phillips. And then let's have a quick look at the torques. And they come in and out nice and easily here. Let's get a nice close look at the quality there. Beautiful. No issues. Nice. And then again, not stamped. Torx 10. But I like, I like the colour coding. If I've got a load of bits and I'm busy with different things and battles and forwards, battles and forwards, I've, I, it means I can momentarily look and go, right, well, I know I know I'm in the right ballpark. And in regards to the slaughter, they do have that beautiful, beautiful profile where it is, I mean, guess you could call that a hollow grind and then a hollow grind, but it's not to a point. You'll generally find with a lot of cheap sort of tools that would just come to a point. In this instance, it doesn't. It comes to where it needs to be for depth and then it protrudes at parallel lines and then down. So it makes, it means it properly fits screw heads. Um, I've used this one and there's a smaller one, that one on the doors around the house and all sorts of things. So beautiful, get a nice close up of that there. I'll try and get into the light there. So in regards to the bits, extremely impressed. If I had to be nitpicky and say, well, there must be something I don't like. Yeah, I wish they would 
punch this in rather than have it written on because that may come off over time, although I haven't seen that yet. Okay, so this is rotatable and I have complained in the past. Um, I prefer a magnet retention, but these have been fine. You can push them in and out. This never seems to change. This plastic doesn't seem to lessen or loosen up or become irritating. They just go straight in or you can slot them in. So you can slot them in like that. There, beautiful. And then this closes nicely with a nice little click and a, almost a pop if you listen. So open with a little pop there and then click. Beautiful. It's exactly the same mechanism style as the insider stubby. So that clicks open with a nice little pop and then Beautiful, it's almost like with a luxury car where they tune the door to have a certain poppy feel to it. It just feels extremely, like the fit and finish feels extremely nice in this. So let's discuss what we're looking at here. So here's the handle. Now straight off, it is not PB Swiss Grip. Swiss Grip is this lovely, I love it. So I'll, if, you, if you, here's my th th thumbnail, so I'll push it in, watch. Now see how that's left a mark? That will go over time. It's almost like it's a very soft tactile, but sort of oil and, and chemical resistant. So it's a beautiful thing to use. It kind of reduces, I mean, I've used this quite a lot, this one, this ratcheting one. For me, that reduces blistering slightly, and it's just a pleasure to use. The style is exactly the same. I mean, it is thinner. In regards to size, look at the size difference. Here is a, this is a iFixit, also a quarter inch driver. This is a quarter inch driver, that's a quarter inch driver, that's a quarter inch driver. But look at the size difference if we line the bases up. Big difference. Yes, you could argue, well, that's better because you can reach things. I get that. But bear in mind, there's no bits in this, but there is in this. So look, for, for something so small that I can, you know, palm like that and it's almost not there. And it has bits in. I think the size is beautiful. I think this is better for higher torque because it's slightly bigger. But it is the Swiss grip, which is beautiful. Do I miss the Swiss grip? Yes, I wish this had the Swiss grip, but it certainly works, it's functionable. And if I have a little sniff of this, and I'm not being a weirdo here, let me just have a sniff. Beautiful, so this comes with the genuine vanilla smell. Now, I used to think that PB Swiss Tools added the vanilla smell as an anti-counterfeiting thing. So if you go on AliExpress and say, oh, there's a good deal on a PB Swiss and you get it and it's just a copy. I don't think that's the case. Um, someone contacted me and they said, actually, the reason they do that is because the chemicals they use over time, if they break down, they can end up smelling like vomit. So I don't know if that's true. Maybe it is. Stick down the comment section if you know that to be the case. I don't know that to be the case, but that's what I've been told, that they add that so you don't get a vomit smell. Take that with a pinch of salt. I don't know if that's true. Maybe it is. So this is stainless steel, and then you have this plastic here, this vomit plastic or whatever. I've never, ever smelt the PB Swiss tool and thought that smells like vomit. Just to let you know. Um, these ones never smell like vomit, all these. But these always have the that beautiful, rich vanilla smell, which they do add there. So stainless steel, you have a very, very powerful magnet. So I'll take this. This is a standard quarter inch. Just happens to be an iFixit here. This is a Torx T40. So quarter inches straight and beautiful very strong magnet i would say that in regards to magnet strength this is maybe almost double what you'd get on a vera very very strong and like you're getting a quarter of this strength on both of these or all of these that you would get on like a dollar store one it just boom it pops in and you've really got to pull that i like that it just means when you're using high torque applications um, and certain things like posi drive and things like that, they can get a tiny little bit stuck. So when you pull and it gets stuck in there, that's irritating. I don't like that, especially if it's been a long day. So very, very nice retention there. Very powerful. Okay, so what does it come with? So let's move these out the way. Let's have a quick look. So you get Philips 1 and 2. So that's them there. So there's the 1 and there's the 2. So Philips 1 and 2. Torx are the colour coded ones so the torques go all the way around so you get a T20, a T15 and this little T10s there and in regards to the slotted you get slotted 2, 3 and 4. I think that covers most of what you need so there's the 4 one there to be perfectly honest. Most of the stuff around the house you're going to be covered for that. You could always say well you need more bits yeah okay we'll go and buy a bit set because this is supposed to be small compact and extremely nice. Okay, so as I've said, this replaces the PB6460. What's the difference? Very little. The only difference is 
that doesn't work like that. It has a threaded section here. So when you feed this down in order to keep it in place rather than a detent and a nice click that this, this, this has, you had to like screw it back in and then to take it out, you had to, you know, lefty, loosey, righty, tight, you know, all that to open it up and then put it back. Took longer, I prefer this, and I've got no worries about this coming out, and it never has when I've when I've had it in use. <clears throat> okay, so let's go through some pros and cons. Pros, extremely compact for a driver which has bits in it. You know, and if you want more compact, you could go for a tiny little stubby stubby like this. They're both insiders, so they have the bits. But you know, a stubby is for a specific application when you, you when, when you just can't get it something. This brilliant and it fits in the pocket beautifully. Extremely strong magnet. I don't know what they're doing, but their magnets, it must be a PB Swiss thing, extremely strong, which is an advantage for me. Incredibly good bits, especially those slotted. They're properly profiled, not like some of the wacko ones you get. I mean, they've just done a beautiful job. I love the color coding. None of these have corroded. None of them have burred over in the corners, despite use. There's tiny little signs of wear there, and I have used them quite a bit because I've had this quite a, quite a while now. And the reason I've had it quite a while without doing a review is because I've used it a lot. I have used this a lot. I used this and this just to help build the parts of a PC case just recently. No issues. You just use it, bang, done. You're not mucking about. So incredibly good bits. You get a lifetime warranty. So if I go to, in fact, you can do it yourself. If you don't believe me, you can go to the PB Swiss Tools website, stick that number in, so 328680, and you can see that this has a lifetime guarantee. So full warranty for lifetime. It'll even tell you when a guy inspected that and had a look at it and made sure it was up to, up to snuff. So pretty good. I have no problems recommending these. Uh, if you get this and it knacks, you just call them up and say it. It's not good. Tell them what's wrong with it. They'll send you a new one straight away. No questions asked. Brilliant. I like that. Fit and finish is beautiful and it is made in Switzerland, like all that stuff. It says there, Swiss made. You get it on here, if I remember there, Swiss made. They should all have somewhere. Swiss, yeah, Swiss made. So made in Switzerland, not made in some dodgy sweatshop somewhere. Um, really, really nice and nice to use. Feels comfortable. I like it. Cons, price. I was able to get this at a, a mega knockdown price because I knew a guy, he doesn't run the store now, but I knew a guy and he was able to give me this at cost. Um, so I got it mega cheap. And even then I thought it was a little bit expensive, but I'm glad I've got it because it's very nice. The problem is, is, is getting a hold of them and, and especially here in the UK, it's irritating to try and get them. You've got to get them imported and then, okay, so you then you pay an import fees and then it's a rip off. In America, you might want to try somewhere like uh, KC Tools might have them. I know Tool Lady, I think, do them. If you're from America and you have or can get a hold of the PB Swiss Tools, please put it down below. Help us all out here just so we know where to get these things. Because, yeah, I realise you can just type into Google, but sometimes people know some nice cheeky little places, especially in the UK as well. Let me know because my, I think it was qualitytools.co.uk no longer run, which I'm devastated about because they used to have some really cheap PB Swiss Tools stuff so price um if you are trying to get a hold of this it's between 50 and 60 quid that's great british pounds so like almost you know pushing up towards 70 dollars i think that's too much but it's a beautiful piece of kit and you're just gonna have to get one and it has a lifetime guarantee is that worth that extra cost that's something you need to wear up i'm not you know weigh up i'm not going to tell you and the only other downside i could think of this one is it's not swiss grip but if you're not addicted to Swiss grip and you haven't used it before, you're not going to notice a difference. Ergonomically wise, it works beautifully. It's nice. It just works. It's it's kind of smoothed off, but enough knurled here with the, the, the slots. It just works. It's as simple as that. I thought about it. It just works. None of this catches or gets in the way and it didn't flick open or anything like that. It's, you know, extremely well made. I really, really, really like this. Anyway, so marks out of 10. I'm going to give this, hmm, let's have a think. I wish it was less expensive, but maybe that's because you've got a lifetime warranty and it's harder for me to get them where I am. So I can't knock them too much for that. So I'm going to give this a 9.5. It's so small. I mean, look, there's another quarter inch that has no bits in it. Beautiful. 
really really like if you just want to one of these that you can stick in a bag or have around the home to do jobs beautiful 9.5 well done swiss pb swiss tools another good job there and um, i will have a look at that at some point but it's just getting the time so thank you for joining me if you think pb swiss are overpriced let me know in the comment section or if you have one and you are part of the pb switch church and you love it let me know as well okay so thanks for joining me and i'll let you get on with my day now okay so 9.5 well done pb swiss keep up the good work goodbye